you made it here. Well, today I want to show you an old whirly gig I made about five years ago, and I gave it a complete makeover. It's my uh, stud blocker. He's supposed to be hiking the PCT. So hang on to your hats, and I'll, sh I'll show you what I did. Well, here's my uh, stud walker hiking the PCT. I made this about five years ago and I had just started carving and I wasn't very good at carving the faces yet. So I got this uh, this block of wood I'm working on giving the guy a head transplant. to show you how I'm gonna put the bearing on this arm basically I got a short piece of 3 16 inch steel rod I uh, took my Dremel with a cutoff wheel and I made a little slice down the middle there and then I pried it apart so now the bearing can't come off that way and so it won't come off this way these things and I deform the metal but you need to do that before you uh, spread this thing I have this piece of uh, dowel I got it uh, reamed out about quarter inch or so on in inside there and I'll use that to hold the bearing in place you take this and uh, pound that in there. Pound that in there. You want it pretty close. I think I could get it even a little closer. <clears throat> there we go. You don't want too much slop. Just a little bit. All right. So to keep this, keep this whole rod, this whole assembly from going that way, I'm going to pin it with a little piece of sixteenth inch brass rod. So <clears throat> you got to drill a hole, and some <laughs> you got to be accurate. You got to hit that shaft. I'm not going to, I don't think I can do it on camera. It's a little tricky, so well, let me try. That's how it looks. But I got to twist it so I can look at it. At the same time, you got to like look down the drill bit. Make sure you're going to hit that shaft. Be patient. A 16th inch drill, and you're drilling through steel, so that's working. Okay. 
Got it. Okay. It's got to go through somewhere about like that. Save it right about here. Okay. And then we just take that. Well, if you want, you can put a little drop of super glue on top of there. A little baking soda. Okay, I got a little wood putty. Put some of that in there. Alright. That's ready to go in. I'll stick some uh, super glue around here. And that'll, that'll go just like that. There you have it. I just put in another uh, pivot point on here. This is the old one, and this is the new one. I think I got a little heavier propeller on there. Anyway, I think it's, it's better this way. So I want, what I do, I just drill a hole, and try to get it straight and square, and that's pretty hard. But I, I put my tube in there and I just sharpened up the end of a, a piece of quarter inch rod, steel rod. And what I'll do is I'll just put a couple drops of super glue in there down at the bottom. And then I'll take this thing and put it in there and I'll give it a few taps. Tap that in there. And now it's got a nice uh, piece of steel to rotate on. Stud Walker on his way to climb Mount Thielson. The lightning rod of the Cascades, they call it. Go light pack. <laughs> Orange shoes. Get off of there, bird! And I also made this other propeller. I use, I, I think I got some footage of it. Hey, hey, get off there. Don't chew on it. 
I made this other propeller. It's only a three bladed one. I had to do quite a bit of drawing on that one to draw that snow or, or the mountain or whatever it is. I think I like this uh, these trees better than a little button on there it says smile. stopping by. Don't forget to leave a comment and hit that like button. Hope everybody's safe and well. Take care. We'll see you down the trail. Bye-bye.